you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Prayer point number one. Father, everything that is not a representation of the life of Christ in and around my life, I declare that it must live right now. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. The Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my father, it declares that it will be uprooted. Pray. All the overflows, pray. Outside, pray. Following online, pray. Everything that is not the planting of Christ, it must be uprooted right now. Everything that is not the planting of Christ, pray. Manifesting as ill health, manifesting as some infirmity and some disease in your body, manifesting as occurrences and patterns in your life. Lift your voice and pray. Let it come on that judgment right now. Hallelujah. Second prayer point, first Samuel, first Samuel twelve and verse six. I believe that should be the scripture. First Samuel twelve and verse six. Yes. Please read with me. One to read. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron, and that brought your fathers out of the land of Egypt. Who advanced them? The Lord. People don't just go forward in their lives. You don't just go forward because you are tired of where you are. There is a hand that can push a man from Egypt to the land of promise. You are going to pray. May that hand, that hand that can push men, mysteriously but surely, may that hand shift you to the next level. Lift your voice and pray. Is someone praying? It was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. Advance my life, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let me encounter by your marvelous hand the grace that advances me. The grace that advances me. Go ahead and pray. Advancement, all wise. Advancement, all wise. Declare your advancement in the name of Jesus. Let this unction come upon you today and push you and shift you to a new dimension, a new level of spiritual experience. The Lord that advanced. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I was I was over in Zaria um, just midweek down to the weekend before traveling for some other meetings and then coming here. And when I went to Zaria, as as I I became very emotional as I was about to enter the city because I could see places where I once walked, praying and prophesying and declaring that in the name of Jesus this vision will grow and will bless the world. I could see places and I stood there and I said my God only a fool will say in his heart there is no God I saw the things that would look like a dream or some ambitious project happen at the instance of the hand of God with a level of God like ease it has to be God are we together now I'm saying that to still establish this prayer Don't ask Is it difficult for God to lift me Honestly if you say that you don't know God This God that we're talking about In one day he fed a whole nation Not a family A nation And there was a man who said Even if God will open the windows of heaven This cannot be possible He repeated that miracle When he fed 5,000 people With 5 loaves and 2 fish one more time I'd like you to pray Lord I want to leave this current position I am grateful for where you have brought me But there is more for me in Christ There is more for me in destiny I obtain grace tonight That will advance me Go ahead and pray It was the Lord That advanced Moses and Aaron And brought your fathers Out of Egypt the place of bondage. Someone is praying. Take me to higher grounds, oh God. Higher levels spiritually. Higher levels financially. Multiplying your influence and your good hand upon my life. For the sake of your kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ Isaiah chapter 49 Next prayer point Isaiah chapter 49 We'll begin our reading from verse 24 Please pay attention Isaiah 49 Shall the prey Be taken from the mighty Or the lawful captive Be delivered You know who a lawful captive is? A lawful captive is one who is in bondage legally Are we together now? Yes Lawful captive That means there was a legitimate ground Upon which the realm of the spirit found access To your life, your liberty, your family There is such a thing as a lawful captive But the Bible says is there a possibility in the dealings of God with men that even those who are lawful captives, that means Satan has an authorized basis. He can stand to say, no, 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 no. I have on a legitimate ground. There is grounds to oppress this family. There is grounds to oppress this destiny. There is grounds to oppress this ministry. But the Bible says even at that, in the dealings of God with men, is there a possibility for lawful captives to be delivered? 25. It says, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. It, we, it's important for us to know who is talking Because if it is not the Lord If he says thus saith an angel We are in trouble Because angels are limited But thus saith this sovereign authority Regardless the legal basis There is still a possibility It says even the captives of the mighty Shall be taken away And the prey of the terrible Shall be delivered For I will Hold on Hold on, hold on. He's telling you how he will do it. Are we together now? 
come Dave let me use you who, who else will come come doctor let me use two of you now watch this let's assume stand here since we are wearing white and white you come watch this let's assume that this man that I'm a terrorist are we together now and then I hold this guy because for some reason he gave me legal grounds to hold him are we together now his family may not be able to help him but then let's assume for instance that no no let me not use terrorism let's assume that um, this man was a criminal are we together now and say I'm the head of prisons or the correctional center and I've kept him there and this is the president of that territory in as much as there was a legal ground this guy was ordered from court to be in jail for something he did is that true the bible says there is still a possibility the possibility is not when they have already said there is no bail for you yet at a certain time the president there is something called presidential pardon am i right on that this is what god is saying that although your family is where they are because your grandfathers the devil was minding his business your grandfathers came and said please come and help us farm and the devil said for what in return is help them please he said for the destiny of my children and my children's children and the devil said i will protect you from war but make sure you serve me now the missionaries came and brought the gospel and now you decided that i will not serve the devil again he will not fold his arms and wash you there is a basis for that oppression but the bible says i will contend who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen. have you known god as a warrior Go and read your Bible. Hmm. Moses, he said, stand still. This fight is not your own. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. God can fight. Believe me. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, two angels, not God, two angels from heaven with hailstone, they wiped a whole people overnight, two angels. We don't even know their ranking in the angelic kingdom. Two angels. I'm saying this because he's the one who will arise. There are matters in families that are not allowing people go forward. And just when the devil thinks he's getting away with it again, like he has done before. Give us that scripture. Let's finish. I will contend. So back to my example. Now I'm holding this guy. I'm holding doctor and keeping him in one place. You will not move forward to manifest your destiny. But I forgot that even me, I am a citizen of a nation. And then the president comes and says, Whatever it is, I use my office. Remember that the position that you have that authorized you to keep this person was an appointment. And the president, both me and him, two of us are subject to the president's decision. Are we together now? Yes. So he comes to grant presidential pardon And then he Does not just make that order From his place, his villa He comes by himself And enters the correctional center And goes to the room And picks this man And I watch with pain as he leaves him I desire to keep him Except That the Lord strong and mighty I'm saying this because there are people God himself will reach down to your foundation and pull you out. Believe me when I tell you this. Reach down to your foundation once and for all. 
Keba la kato sabarande gebara kusia. Listen. Let me tell you a little secret. I don't, I usually at the end of the year, I take out time to just rest and make sure that, you know, I just have my little time to rest and prepare. But a group of people came from my village and they said, look, you need to come. There is fire on the mountain and you are blessing the whole world. I said, you people should leave me. This is the end of the year. I want to rest. They said, no, you have to come. And I, I sat down. When I looked at what was happening, I said, in as much as I love everybody, in truth and without bias, I love my own people too. I told them, I said, you know what? I'm coming. And believe me, let me tell you what I'm going to do. By the Spirit of God, I'm going in partnership with the battalion of heaven. There are, there are things, there are things that need to be settled. There are all these, all these wishing. See, the devil is not stupid. There are rules of engagement. Just desiring to be free does not bring freedom. There are rules of engagement. Are we together? I came here with a burden tonight because as I prayed, I asked the Lord, I said, Father, please, let people not come and, and cry and say amen and fall and stand up only to return back into frustration. But you see, listen, let me tell you this. You have to believe God tonight and be serious. Believe him and open up your heart and be determined that I'm not going back the way I came. The woman with the issue of blood said to herself, before Jesus arrived, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. There are men of God here, you make up your mind, I'm not going back with my head empty. No way. I traveled so far to come and receive an unction that will change my life. Business people make up your mind that I'm not coming here to, to, to go back and live a life of struggle. Living from hand to out, pillar to post, up today, down tomorrow. Even the lawful captive And so he comes to pick him And goes with him And there is nothing the devil can do about it Do you know why? Because the earth is the Lord's And the fullness thereof And the walls and all they that dwell therein So you are going to pray one prayer You are going to give a prophetic red card If I will use that expression To everything that is antichrist Buried whether in foundations Inheritance I like you to make a declaration In the name of Jesus I'm cutting away From ordinances and handwritings Speaking against the purposes of Christ In and through my life Go ahead and pray Sheke pakatos katepa lakata Brante parikato shaligata parakatos katia Embrente skote shalaka praski padakato Pray My deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by My deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by My deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by My deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let me beseech you whether you are an usher or not. If someone is under the anointing close to you, please help them. Let's be very, very fast so that we we'll trust God to do much tonight. Hallelujah. I really want to take out time and minister this deliverance. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit and you will be shocked and surprised to see what happens to you let me start tonight with families where nobody rises this is what I want to start with tonight in truth there are families where no matter how diligent you are no matter how hard-working you are it looks like there is a demonic embargo you see people travel abroad and return back after 10 years in shame they study to phd some of them even become professors yet they cannot feed their families why because there are horns that have lifted up themselves against judah and against jerusalem now i want to pray by the power that resides in the christ I decree and declare Please bring them out very quickly Everyone here under the sound of my voice In the main auditorium Inside and outside Whose life and family Is under the yoke Of this wicked spirit That will not allow you rise At the count of three You are going to shout the name Jesus And an apakatosh ketebakata At the shout of that name that fire will fall from heaven and set ablaze everything that is antichrist are you ready now thank you father one two three shout jesus i command every yoke every altar by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus every family that will not be allowed to rise we bring judgment against those forces in the name of jesus bring them out by the power that raised christ from the dead be judged now be judged now be judged now wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of the name of jesus every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that jesus is lord bring them out please i'm still praying son of man what seest thou and he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against judah against jerusalem so that no one got lift up his head he said but i have sent four carpenters i am still praying every family here that is a victim of the covenant of ancestry covenants of ancestry your fathers worship idols your fathers worship all kinds of things and now the children are victims of this by the blood of the eternal covenant you're still going to shout jesus let there be liberty right now at the count of three one two three shout jesus be free now be free now from your foundations ordinances wicked orchestrations of darkness let them go now let them go now the bible declares he who the son sets free is free indeed bring them out most of the challenges you see that believers go through aside from the issues that relate to ignorance and lack of accurate spiritual understanding most of the challenges are tied and connected to orchestrations of demons I'm still praying The Lord is opening my eyes again And like he always shows me I'm seeing Kogi state Kogi state I'm seeing fire Falling on people right now Kogi state Every orchestration Planted 
that is tying men down in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, please. I bring you liberty right now. I bring you liberty right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I bring you liberty right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray a prayer of release God is opening my eyes And I'm seeing the hands of people tied When your hands are tied spiritually No matter what you do physically Believe me it will not work You will do the best that you know to do But I'm about to pray Those chains will be broken right now Father Every hand that is tied In the realm of the spirit Affecting their productivity, their capacity to make structural progress at, in the name of Jesus Christ. Kapato Katebata. My God, I'm seeing fire falling at the count of three. One, two, three. Let that fire fall now. Fall now in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Monica? Monica. I'm hearing the name Monica. Monica. Don't just stand up and go. There is a reason why I ask that they bring them out. I'm about to pray for them. Monica. I'm hearing the name Monica. I don't know if that is your name. These are the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit. Monica. I'm also hearing the name Adams. Who is Adams? Adams. Oppression must come to an end right now. Adams. I'm hearing a name Adams. Who is Monica? Please verify that that is their name. You are Monica. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on a woman right now. You get pregnant but it never crosses three months. The moment is past three months you will have a dream in the night. And the moment you have that dream you will lose that pregnancy. Right now. The power of God is coming upon that woman right now. I decree and declare wherever she is. Wherever she is, I break that hold now. I break that hold. Monica, let me pray for you. Please, I want you to hold two people who will now begin to run by the anointing and come out. Because I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent This I'm seeing like a snake This is what I'm seeing I'm not saying they are snakes But this is just what God is showing me In the name of Jesus Hold them and bring them out Let me pray for you My goodness Monica Two of you there is, there is fire that is falling on you now I just saw a strong anointing I'm praying for all of you But this tie of witchcraft over your life It must go right now I stretch my hands Father, according to your word In the name of Jesus Help them please I command that oppression Go now, out of them now In the name of Jesus Christ out of them now release their lives and release their destinies hallelujah the lord is showing me a gentleman you work with civil defense civil defense this is what i'm saying you are a gentleman you work with civil defense i'm not giving your name but the lord is saying you work with civil defense if there is such a person please let me pray for you very quickly because we are still going to minister deliverance Adams Let me pray for you
in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands towards you Adams the power of God is coming on one of you the Lord is saying you are ending a season and beginning a new one I decree and declare right now may that anointing come upon you I shift you to help them in the name of Jesus Christ please take care in the name that is above all names I decree and declare right now let there be liberty for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ where do you work my friend civil defense what's your name Paul how long have you been there 10 years 10 years yeah, I joined 2000 and 2012 have you gone abroad yes do you know why I'm saying that I'm not a prophet of doom but I'm seeing you inside a plane and I'm seeing God taking you out of this country this is what I'm seeing this is this is like i don't know if it's that you and your family are moving but god is just telling you to prepare because your days they are numbered god is shifting you to a new dimension in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit let it be for you even as he has spoken in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let it be for you as he has spoken for all those who are out here under the anointing I command the spirits and the devils oppressing them and their families. I speak as one sent and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I declare, leave their destinies and their families now. Go, go, go out of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release them and everything you have taken from their lives and their destinies. Let there be a sevenfold restoration now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. There are families where people rise. And they get to a particular point And just when they are about to climax In their pursuit and their career Something must happen to them And bring them down in shame There are many people like that And there are many families like that Diligent people They get to the zenith of their pursuit And then something brings them down I want to pray over those people right now And the power of God is going to come upon them I like for your heart to be open and I want you to receive it as a prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every family under this kind of yoke that rises to get to a particular point and just when you are the apex, the climax, the zenith of your pursuit, these forces bring you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now, I'm praying. There are two ladies that will shout now under the anointing based on this prayer. The moment that happens, the power of God will begin to move to touch people. This is what the Lord is telling me. Two ladies whose families and lives are victims of this. In the name of Jesus, the moment that happens, the power of God will begin to set people free. Two ladies. Help them. Please bring them out. We are praying right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice Whose life and family Are a victim of this Manifestation of rising to a particular point And going down Right now I decree and declare Be, be delivered in the name of Jesus Be delivered in the name of Jesus Be delivered in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke the spirit of delay. Now hear me. There are people here, you may not necessarily be victims of delay directly, but your, your pace of growth is too slow. 
what can be done in one month takes you 10 years I don't mean to insult you but there are some of you you've been building forever and it looks like the grace to finish is not there I tell you the, the fire of God will fall on many people based on this prayer I'm about to pray and you will shout that name that everything that has tied your life and destiny bring in delay you know that delays that work in your life when the only thing that grows in your life is your age nothing else grows only your age you know that there is delay there therefore i pray right now my god i sense fire even on my own hands in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus as you shout that name inside and outside everyone who is a victim of that oppression that demonic structure will be liberated right now i decree and declare against the spirit of delay we come against you by the power that is in the blood of jesus at the count of three shout jesus one two three shout jesus delay be broken now Help them, my God. Delay be broken now. Over lives, over families, be broken now. Hallelujah. Many years ago, I used to have demon spirits come to oppress me and because of the prophetic I would see the spirits enter I would shout in Jesus name in Jesus name and nothing would happen because the real miracle is not in the chanting of the name like a charm or a genie it's in the revelation of it but the Lord is opening my eyes right now please look at me there are people you would have made maximum progress pay attention but you go back to bed and you are seeing yourself in secondary school you are seeing yourself in I want to prove how it came what happened almost all of them had similar dreams maybe not exactly the same but similar they go to bed and someone comes to them with a syringe like a, a real syringe in a dream and injects them and tells them this is HIV are we together and they wake up and after a few months they begin to have physical symptoms they go to the hospital and they will tell you this thing is demonic and because of their fear to not be stigmatized they will not seek help and not say anything and keep quiet until it eats them up I declare liberty I declare liberty There is a lady I'm praying for you by the spirit because I'm seeing that there seems to be this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of this spirit will completely abort that agenda in the name of Jesus right now I'm praying bring them out that's right Mandika parus ketikata e pregeto shida dabata. I decree and declare, whatever spirit is binding itself to you in this false spiritual union, we break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. There are whole families that are victims of this not just individuals i'm still praying i don't know why god is showing me women i know that this affects both men and women but i'm seeing women i'm still praying right now every embargo that
that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you does not arrive right now in the be delivered in the name of Jesus be delivered in the name of Jesus be delivered in the name of Jesus hallelujah please look at me I want to pray a very serious prayer for you now and I want you to pay attention there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says in the book of Esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces Hadassah or Esther the bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king Ahasuerus and Mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten I'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can I tell you this God does not forget but men can forget believe me when I tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men God uses men to lift God uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by Joseph and Joseph made a plea and said I am in this prison but I am innocent I don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the wine press have forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so I want to pray for you now when I came into this city I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can I tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can I pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now In the name of Jesus Christ The spirit that makes your helpers to forget you I decree and declare That spirit departs from your life now Receive it It departs from your life now
Hear me. This man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other. Believe me when I tell you, when your helpers remember you, one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you. Let me pray for you. There are jobs here. There are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of God through helpers. Right now, by the power of the prophetic, for everyone who has been forgotten here, leaving you in shame, leaving you in pain, I decree and declare, let the book of remembrance be open for you now. Let the book of remembrance, archiving your diligence, archiving your honesty, archiving your sincerity, archiving your competence, let it be open for your sake now. There are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices. I will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there. Sir, have you considered I will, will do something and sweep it there? In the name of Jesus, wherever it was swept to, we bring it out to visibility. We bring it out to visibility. In the name of Jesus Christ. We'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly But let me pray one more One more prayer It is possible For your helpers to come late Life is a function of timing It is possible For your helper to come But then to come late The value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah I didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if I had seen it I would have supported I want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help. Help must come on time. It says, satisfy me early with your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, everywhere help has been ordained to come for you. Between November and the end of this year. In the Help them, my God. Help them up the balcony there. In the name that is above all names Between November I'm saying it by prophecy I stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace May your help not escape December 2021 Believe it Believe it Believe it May your help Let it not escape December 2021 Therefore I prophesy to the east, I prophesy to the west, I prophesy to the north and to the south, wherever your help is, I gravitate it towards your destiny. I am the Lord. That he led thee I am the Lord Your healer I sent my word And it healed your disease I am the Lord One more time with faith in your heart. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. That he let thee. 
I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and it healed your disease. Listen, the Bible says Jesus was speaking and he said, as my father has sent me, he said, even so send I you as my father sent me with the same mandate and the same backing, the same mandate and the same backing. My mission was to reveal the love of the father and to connect the world to the father so that they walk back in that dominion and they become envoys envoys advocates kings and priests now i send you but to do that you will need the equipping the backing of heaven so how god anointed jesus of nazareth when jesus came and stood up for to read Luke chapter 4 says that it was given to him the scroll of Isaiah and he found where it was written concerning him that the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted to release to preach deliverance to them who are captive and recovery of sight and to set at liberty them that are bruised and then when he was done reading he said the bible says he closed the book and kept it and sat down and he said this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes the healing ministry is one of the cardinal ministries that reveal the love of jesus why because the authorized means of remaining on the earth is that you must have a mortal body listen this is the theology of healing healing is not merely just administering the power of god to a human body it's an attempt by the spirit of god to bring you to a point of health and vitality because the spirit of man or any spirit requires a certain health condition in a human body to be able to remain when the body is broken and deteriorated beyond a certain threshold the spirit will have to be separated from the body in an event we know and call death are we together now so every time you are sick it's like death knocking on your door would you give me a chance from a slight a sickness as headache pain whatever it is so when jesus comes to bring healing to his servants it is his commitment to preserve you in health and vitality so that you can have the body prepared for you to be able to do that which he has mandated you to do you're sick in your body now is the time for you to receive your healing i want you to lay your hand very quickly i truly believe in the healing ministry the last three months the lord has been speaking to me again that some of the manifestations of the power of god that we saw with the generals our fathers of blessed memory who have joined the cloud of witnesses today most of them moved marvelously in the 60s and the 70s across europe across the u.s and even in africa here there were men and women most of them died living a prophetic word that a moment will come in the history of the church and in the future of the church where there will be a marvelous move of the spirit and young men and women will arise and there will be a restoration of that healing mantle can i tell you sincerely our generation has not really once if you are younger than respectfully speaking say 45 downwards or maybe 40 downwards that generation has not really witnessed the move of the spirit the healing ministry with power the way that most of our parents and our fathers would tell us sometimes you will hear the things that they would say and you would think they were exaggerations i've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people before they passed on who were marvelously used by god to change nations 
And my concern was not just impartation from them. I wanted to ask them, what were the prophetic words that you received? And I can tell you this, before Jesus returns, once again, that water, that pool, will be stirred in a remarkable way. Believe me when I tell you this. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus. I'm going to pray for the sick now. But I want you to know, know this for sure, that the move of the Spirit is coming. And before we round up this service tonight, I will pray. I know that there may be one or two people here that God is already training you as part of that glorious, that mighty army that will carry these end time mantles of healing. For you, you did not just come for a miracle service to receive. You are still in the, in, 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 God is still working on you. Be patient with him. We are not just talking of healing in a service. Headache, wheelchair, thank God for that. But men whose shadows like Peter will heal the sick. I believe this with all my heart. I believe this with all my heart that before Jesus comes, believe me when I tell you, there will be such a move of the Spirit. Ordinary people, men and women, you have not seen them on TV yet. Nobody even knows them. They may not be in active ministry yet. No one is celebrating them. The Lord is training them, pruning them, building them. And when He's ready, He will blow them like a shofar to the nations. And I tell you, Africa and Nigeria has a major prophetic role to play in taking back this healing anointing to the nations. I believe this. It will happen in our lifetime. We will see it. Like natural resources, we will export the power of God as a commodity to the nations. Believe me when I tell you this. Men and women will carry fire. Some of you, God will send you to Europe to go back and salvage the decadence that is going there. Some of you, God will send you back to US, Canada, send you across, even to Asia. For now, let's pray for the sick. Please lay your hand as a point of contact. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. I know he heals. I don't just believe he heals. I know that Jesus heals. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Now, do you know, I was so humbled when I found out that many hospitals in Abuja here and many hospitals across the nations people who are with patients connect to the miracle service like so many are doing right now you've heard of the marvelous miracles of people in the hospital very humbling to see what the power of god is doing and if you are in the hospital right now connecting with someone whatever the situation is i want you to believe lay your hands and let's pray as i pray for you i want you to shout a loud amen I will rebuke that spirit and command that spirit to give way. Now, um, I don't know how we will do it because this is the last miracle service and 
I have a section for impartation So what we are going to do Is um, Probably We may not have people come out To share testimonies Let's just Let's just um, let's sacrifice that section of the meeting In as much as it's good to declare the faithfulness of God But there is a lot We still have prayer requests here And then I still want to take out 5-10 minutes And release something upon your life a, a marvelous manifestation of the anointing So I will just pray for you As God touches you and blesses you From next week you can Thank you for watching Like our videos Share and subscribe Thank you